Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to calculate the surface area of an L-shaped prism. So here's an exam question. It says Sam has made a wooden play or has made wooden play blocks for nursery class. Each block is an uh, is a prism of an L-shaped cross section. So this is what it looks like. You've got your L-shaped prism, and you've been asked to find its surface area. It says calculate work out the total surface area for the prism. So let's have a look at the faces. So we've got one face in the front and a face on the back. So one and two. Let's I'm just numbering them. Okay. Uh, we've got this side here, which we'll call 3, this face here, which we'll call 4, this face here, which we'll call 5, this face here, which we'll call 6, the left-hand side, which we'll call 7, and the bottom, which we'll call 8. So there's 8 faces. We need to get the area of all 8 rectangles, because as you can see, oh, sorry, they're not all rectangles. The, um, shapes 1, and or faces 1 and 2 are L shapes, and then uh, rectangles are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So you get the area of all 8 of those um, shapes and then you'll add them all up and that'll be the total surface area. Okay. Yeah, I've drawn a, a really rough, uh, it's not a very good sketch of the front. So we can see that the height of it is 6, the base of it is 6, the height of the small part is 3 and the width of the top is 3. So let's work out the missing sides. Well, this part here, because this is 3, this bit here will have to be 3. And because this part's 6 and this part's 3, this part here will have to be 3 as well. That's not always the case. Don't just presume that it's going to be half of this number. But in this case, because it was 3 and 3, the other two sides are 3 and 3. Okay, so let's get the area of this. So let's cut it. You can either cut it vertically or horizontally. I'm going to cut this horizontally. So 3 times 6, 3 times 6 is equal to 18 for this part. And this part, because it's 3 by 3, this is going to be 9. So the area at the front would be 27, so 27 centimetres squared. So I'm just going to write that down here, okay? So shape, side number 1, face number 1, is 27 centimetres squared. Now because the front and the back, because it's a prison, they're the same, that means that face 2 is also 27 centimetres squared. Okay, let's then get the area of all the other shapes, all the other faces. Okay, so shape 3, or face 3, you've got, it's 3 by 8, so 3 times 8, 3 times 8 equals 24. So shape, uh, face 3 is 24 centimetres squared. Side 4, okay, now actually let's put on the missing sides we calculated. So this is 3, so this part here was 3, and that also means that this part here was 3. So shape 4, it's 8 long and 3 across, so again that's going to be 3 times 8, which again is going to be 24. So side 4 is 24 centimetres squared. 5, well again it's 8 long, 8 long, so it's 8 long and 3 high. So again it's going to be 24 centimetres squared, 8 times 3 is 24. The top is 3 by 8, so again it's going to be 24 centimetres squared. So we've got sides 1, 2, or faces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is also 24 centimetres squared. And 6 is also 24 centimetres squared. So now the left hand side. So I'm actually just going to sketch this left hand side. It is 6 high and 8 long. So you can see it's 8 long, 6 high. Actually I don't need to sketch it. It's 8 long, 6 high. So it's going to be 6 times 8. So 6 times 8 which equals uh, 48 centimetres squared. And the bottom is also 8 by 6. So that was side 7. And side 8, or face 8, the bottom, is 6 times 8 which equals 48 centimetres squared. Obviously, whenever you're working this out, show your method a lot more clearly than I have now. So we're going to add our 27, our 27, our 24, 24, 24, and 24, our 48 and our 48, and then that'll be the total surface area of this L-shaped prism. Okay, so let's just add up the eight faces. So we've got our 27 plus 27 plus 24, 24, 24, 24, 48, and 48 and that adds to give 246 so it's 246 centimeters squared because this area is centimeters squared so the main thing is whenever you're getting the surface area of an l-shaped prism you're going to have um, a lot of faces you need to make sure you clearly label them work out the area of all of them and particularly with the front and the back you're going to make sure that you split it into two rectangles and work out the areas of both of those and add those up to get the areas of the l-shapes